Hi, how is everyone? All right, just making sure that we're all over here. Okay, great. So if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Galen. I go by Chef Galen. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist, dietary health coach, and I love to share information on how to heal your body from the inside out, body, soul, mind, and spirit. Um, as a holistic nutritionist, yes, it's so important to make sure that your nutrients, you're getting the proper nutrients, vitamins, and minerals in your body. But through my journey of over 20 years, I realized that everything starts with mindset, period. So I can give you all the ins and outs, all the incredible techniques and tools to get you to the body weight that you're wanting or even to heal your body, okay? But there can be very healthy people out there and there can also be very wealthy and successful and all of that. But if your mindset isn't under control, then everything is null and void. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about today about um, letting go of control. Uh, this has been really powerful in my life because um, just owning four restaurants across the country, just all the different things, publishing um, a few books on Amazon, and uh, just traveling the world. You know, I was honored as Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, I carry a lot of um, weight on my shoulders, okay? And I expect a lot from myself, and so I find that I expect a lot from others, okay? So the drawback in that is that when you're controlling something so intensely, what ends up happening is you end up having, um, it's actually a vibration of lack. And what happens is you actually end up holding on to something that is does not serve you. This is not a good thing at all, okay? So that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So in my book, my Divinely Inspired Action book, which is more like a workbook, um, you can get it on Amazon, um, that uh, one of the modules in there is module three, and this is all about taking responsibility. And the reason I felt like it was important to talk about this is because when you take responsibility, it uh, you actually end up get, taking your power back, okay? And it's so important to pull that in, to take your power back and not let anyone else um, not hand it over to anybody else, okay? So Napoleon Hill says, every thought you release becomes a permanent part of your character. Isn't that the truth? Every thought you release becomes a permanent part of your character. So it's so important to really be careful of everything you're talking about. Everything that comes out of your mouth starts in your mind, okay? Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about the external and internal locus of control, okay? And part of this is taking responsibility and not putting blame on others. We're not going to do the blame game, okay? We're going to embrace it all so that we can overcome because it's so true, you all. I can't say it enough. If we continue to put blame on other people or circumstances of why we're not getting to where we're going to go, we're always going to stay stuck. And so you might look at, be looking at your outside circumstance right now and be thinking, oh my goodness, but you don't understand. You don't understand where I'm at, what's going on in my life, um, all the things. And But I am here to tell you that, yes, I know I understand. I, I've been there like more times than you would realize. And once I let go of control, I trust God, okay, and I trust the work that he's doing in it, then what happens is it's like it puts a release out there. It puts a receiving energy coming towards you. So if you're looking for love in your life, if you're looking for finances in your life, if you're looking for you know the right environment for you and your family to live in, you have to let go of control. This sounds like a really weird um, vibration, but that is it, it. what you're saying, what you're telling God is that I am letting go and I am trusting. I am going to trust that it's going to come towards me. And you stay on that high vibration of knowing, of having this knowingness, okay? And I know all this terminology can feel kind of like overwhelming and like, what is she talking about? But honestly, the more you do this and the more you listen to this kind of teaching, you will be able to transform your life from the inside out. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, now I know what Chef was saying. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get what she's saying, okay? But it's something that you have to embrace on the daily, okay? So, what we're, so the way that we're gonna do that 
is um, we are going to create the best possible outcomes in every relationship. Okay, so step one, um, accept that you created things the way that they are, all right? You took the actions, thought the thoughts, created the feelings, and made the choices that got you where you're at, okay? I know we hate thinking this, okay? But the reason I bring this up is because it's so powerful because when you're actually able to embrace this and, and embrace this knowing, then you take back all the power and control. Like no one else can tell you that no, you cannot do that. So if you have huge dreams um, and aspirations and all the things, God's gonna surround you with people who believe in you and believe in your dreams and believe in your aspirations. You know, we're not meant to go through this life by ourselves. Like that's not fun. And also too, I wanna um I wanna debunk the fallacy because this is what this is what was always told to me before. So, you know, I've owned four restaurants. When I when I say that I've owned four restaurants, I think people think, oh yeah, she probably collaborated with a bunch of people without no, I was the investor, I was the manager. I have tried to hire managers, but I've had to micromanage, okay? I was also the owner, which meant I was doing payroll, I was doing bottom line, I was doing all the things, you know. Um, uh, throughout my restaurants, I have had um, a few uh, good workers and a few good managers here and there, but for the most part, I was doing everything. And this was definitely a huge no-no that I have learned because you can't, you can't do all the things. Uh, you can't work in your business and work on your business and take the role of every single aspect of your business, okay? So once I learned to let go of control, that's when I received so much more peace in my life and I was able to make the impact to a whole nother level. So my first three restaurants were Italian, which I absolutely loved, okay? But then I felt as a, as a holistic nutritionist that God was um, moving me out of the Italian bistro vibe, okay, into more of the healing foods. And I'm really good. One of the gifts and talents God has given me is I'm really good with recipes. I'm really good at creating um, clean and organic food that actually tastes amazing. That's, um, that isn't just clean and organic, but it's actually healing. Your body heals when you eat what I make, okay? So that's why in one of my, my books, um, I don't know where it is right now, but um, I have over 65 healing recipes in it and it's super powerful. So what I'm saying is like when I let go of control of, um, you know, of the direction of my life with the Italian restaurants, though I love them, they're great, they're fabulous, people still talk about them, but I knew God was shifting me into a different menu. Um, I... I had to embrace it. I had to embrace it, okay? Because if you hold on so tight, but yet you're wanting to make an impact and God's trying to shift you to a different area, you're not gonna be able to hear it because you're 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 like afraid and there's this fear and the synergy cannot flow and get you to that next level in life if you're walking in a place of fear, if you're walking in a place of lack, if you're not trusting yourself, okay? So, and then number two, change your beliefs. Things just happen to me. No, you say, I make things happen, okay? By sowing the seed, you decide the nature of the outcome. And in so doing, you are able to tap into the positive side of law of attraction, okay? So the more good you talk about, the more good will come to you, okay? And you know that's why it's, it's so important to look at yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I am amazing. Or if someone gives you a compliment, like embrace it and say, yes, you know, you think I'm amazing, I think I'm amazing. Look, we're amazing, you're amazing, I'm amazing. You know, um, yesterday someone was like, oh my gosh, you're so amazing. Like I'm, I'm like so in awe of all the things you do. And I was like, uh, I'm really not that amazing. Cause you know, I see, I see myself, like I know how much more better I can be. I'm like the worst critic, right? So we all are our worst critics to our own personal selves. But I just want you all to know that I love you and you can do this. And I don't want you to let go of hope. All right. And so if this has resonated with you, please go ahead and share, like, and subscribe, tag a couple people in this, and I'll see you tomorrow.